This video capturing the moments right after a veteran Palestinian American journalist was killed while covering an Israeli military raid in the occupied West Bank. Gunfire ringing out as her colleagues rushed to her side. Shireen Abu Akhle, an American citizen, was known across the Middle East for her coverage on Al Jazeera. Tonight, her employer says she was assassinated in cold blood by Israeli forces, citing eyewitness accounts from her crew. While Israel's defense minister saying it's still unclear if she was killed by an Israeli or Palestinian. Israel's military releasing footage of a fierce firefight, but no firm evidence who fired the fatal shot. This is Shireen Abu Akhla's final journey to the Al Jazeera Bureau where she covered the story of the Palestinian people for so many years. You can feel the anger and grief of her colleagues everywhere. Israel's military promising an investigation, but Palestinians have little faith it'll get to the truth. We have no confidence in their judiciary or in their military investigations. Israeli forces have been conducting near daily raids in the West Bank following multiple deadly attacks by Palestinian militants. Three Israeli civilians killed just last week, allegedly by Palestinians wielding an axe. But the raids also leaving Palestinians dead and violence around Jerusalem's most sensitive holy site. All right, Raf joins us now from Ramallah tonight. Raf, do we know why that journalist, Shireen Abu Akhle, her employer, Al Jazeera, is convinced she was shot by the Israelis? Tom, Al Jazeera basing that claim on eyewitness testimony from her crew who was with her when she was killed, including her producer who was shot in the back. He's going to survive. Al Jazeera says she was doing what journalists do. She was bearing witness in a dangerous place on an important story when she was killed. So, Raf, I guess the next question is you have an American journalist who was killed by an American ally, at least according to Al Jazeera. Has the Biden administration said anything so far? Yeah, Tom, everyone from the White House on down is demanding an immediate investigation into the killing of this journalist. And this all coming just a few weeks before President Biden is due to make his first visit to Israel since taking office. So real fear this wave of violence could continue, could get worse before Air Force One touches down in June. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.